welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a very, very, very long time. Well, I mean, I guess that really doesn't matter because I only had three videos, but I mean, for those people who were waiting, maybe like the one person that was waiting for more videos, I am sorry. And I apologize. It's been almost a year, actually, since I posted my last video. But I am back. And I'm better than before. It's just a refresh to everything. But it's the same old me, basically. I mean, I can't really change, but. So on my channel we're going to be focusing a lot on food a lot on crafts and then some other girly things here and there so if you like the type of stuff and you haven't subscribed already make sure that you go ahead and subscribe but if you want to still go ahead and fill me out but watch these videos and you know learn a lot and probably laugh a lot or something then you can go ahead and keep watching me too today i decided that i wanted to make me some house slippers but not regular house slippers i wanted to make extra furry house slippers probably with my name on them i had slippers before but unfortunately my dog bailey decided she wanted to eat the eyelashes off of my shoes and you're probably like why does your shoes have eyelashes but it's okay i'll show you the shoes later i don't really know how i'm gonna make this but i'm gonna go and probably just figure it out and i was like why not record it and show you guys how to make fur slippers so that you can end up making your whole entire family fur slippers i don't know or just make you some extra, extra, extra fantabulous fur slippers. Whatever you want to do with these fur slippers, if you just want to watch because you want to see how it turns out, because I don't know how it's going to turn out, you can go ahead and keep on watching. So, I mean, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this going. We got to head to the store because how else am I going to make fur slippers if I don't have any materials? Look at that. All of my eyelashes are gone. Do you see that? All of them are gone. She literally left one lash. One lash. This is the person who ate my freaking eyelashes off of my slippers. Tell him why you did it. Why'd you eat my eyelashes? You don't want to admit to doing it. Okay, bye. getting these. So as you can see, it's nighttime now and I'm just getting back. And that is why you never ask your boyfriend to go with you somewhere. I went out for crafts, we ended up grocery shopping, TV shopping, and then we had to go pick up a whole car. And now five hours have passed and I'm back and it's like, what, what time is it, Andy? 11 o'clock? Yeah. It's 11 o'clock, but I gotta make these slippers because, you know, I set out to do this today. So let's go ahead and see what we got from the store. I got these fancy slippers from Walmart. They were on sale for $5. Originally, they were like $8, I believe. I got this fluffy stuff. So it's a mix of fur and feathers. It's like a boa. And then I got some pink backing. I got some pearls so I can make the letters or the initials of my name. I also got E6000 glue to glue everything together. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bow off of the slipper. Even though they're cute, they gotta go. They left this ugly hole there though. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse my toes. <laughs> Boom. Now I'm going to take the felt and measure it to the width of the slipper and then just cut and then glue it with my E6000 glue onto the slipper. So both of them are done. They both look like this. Um, and then so now we're gonna go ahead and put the fur on them. Let's get to it I'm gonna take my boa constrictor and then measure it out to the width 
chop it off, and then take that E6000 and glue that right onto that felt. Boom, boom, bam. Look at that. So cute already. And then they're done. Look at that. Don't judge me. I had to use floss because I forgot yarn. So what I did is I measured the floss. And then I went ahead and put my beads onto the floss. I hot glued the end to make sure they stayed. And then I put each bead one at a time, one at a time. A very annoying process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and just lay this over here, measure it out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the ends in the middle. After you've tucked it inside, make sure that you go ahead and trim off that excess um, felt that you had over here so that it lines up right there with that. Same thing with this side. And then I went ahead and I trimmed some of the firm to tone it down a little bit, but to still keep it extra furtabulous. Snippy, 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 snippy. Finally. We are done. And you have these fantabulous, well, fur-tabulous slippers, look! Aren't they so adorbs? Look at all of the trash on the floor. Bailey, are you gonna clean this up? No? Okay, she's not cleaning this up. Check out my slippers, check out my slippers. Look at that. They're not pretty practical to actually wear outside your house. But I mean, if you're taking out the trash, you can take them outside. But I really just wanted shoes to wear around the house. And I wanted to feel as if I'm walking on clouds because I am on clouds. You gotta fly with the birds, my girl. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it took such a super long time. I mean, what am I apologizing for? Because when you see the video, it'll all be together. I need to apologize to my body. I hope you like these. Try them out. You can use fur or you can use feather and fly with the eagles like me. Um, or you can use something else and make them your own way. But I love them. They're super soft, super duper comfortable to be bedtime slippers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, my next DIY or recipe, whatever, you know, I decide to try next, I would make sure that I bring you guys along. And whether it's a flop or it's lit, you're going to be able to see it. So, good night, lovelies. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Belly. Belly. Do you like my slippers? Hmm? Do you like them? You love them, don't you? You wish you had this. But you can't. Thanks.